Chapter 191, Did I Forget to Put on Makeup Today? The security guard has carried the actor inside the box out. Standing at the door to the autopsy room, Chen Gu turned back to look down the corridor that he had come from. His eyes narrowed. The influence of a dark environment was not that huge on him. I did not hear a shuffling sound, so they should only be in hiding. Closing the autopsy room door, some rust fell from the frame. The props inside Tian Teng haunted house looked old. Feeling the rust, Chen Gu stood up and inspected the tools in the room. Doesn't look like these have been painted to look old. They seem to have been taken from an abandoned hospital directly. For authenticity, some haunted houses would use a low price to buy abandoned equipment in bulk and work on them before placing them into the haunted house, examples being the surgery bed and the electrocardiograph in the autopsy room. He could notice that because there was a hidden line of code behind the machine, 2-2-1-15. This was the code the hospital used to monitor and categorize their equipment. It represented the field, a medical equipment, maintenance, and the electrocardiograph ID. Different hospitals might have different codes, but they were more or less the same. Lingering spirits normally attach themselves to the closest item at the time of their death. If all the props inside this place were sourced from a real hospital, then perhaps this place is really haunted. Chen Gu was merely speculating. After all, he had no evidence. Of course, this might just be another trick by Tian Ting Medical School. There was another sick room attached to the autopsy room. It was hung with plenty of white cloths and had a use that was unclear to Chen Gu. Chen Gu did not have any interest in experiencing it, so he walked by it. At the end of the dim corridor was a locked steel door, and there was a large lock on the door. Looks like I'll need the key before I can move on. The road ahead was blocked, and Chen Gu had already examined the autopsy room. There was no way forward other than to go back into the room filled with white clothes. The white tapestries fell from the ceiling, and a large part of it was covered with blood stains. The place looked like a crime scene. After removing the thick white curtain, Chen Gu entered a room that was even darker, and the setting was quite uncomfortable. The organs and limbs that were missing from the mannequins in the autopsy room were all there, and intermixed with them were several severed mannequin heads. Now, this is not bad. Chen Gu was the first to challenge the haunted house so the fake blood on the floor had not completely dried yet. Stepping over it, Chen Ji's shoes stuck to the floor, and it was a very uncomfortable feeling. This room is connected to the autopsy room, and the monitor in the security stop mentioned something like illegal black marketing of organs, so this should be where it all went down. Tian Ting Medical School had hired a specialist team from Japan to design the place. To pursue a visual horror, they would do many things that were horrible, things that designers in the local scene would not do. Walking to the pile of organs and broken limbs, Chen Gu scanned the pile and noticed something curious. The female mannequin on the surgery table in the autopsy room was missing a heart. Even though other mannequins are also missing some organs, they're not as important as the heart. I've looked through the place and couldn't find a heart. Maybe the key is hiding inside the heart? Where would the heart be? Chen Gu looked at the pile of abandoned organs and limbs, and an idea surfaced in his heart. He bent down to prepare to rummage through the pile of props. Just as his body slowly lowered, a head human hiding in the pile of organs suddenly opened its eyes and started to scream. The head was covered in scars, and her eyes were dripping with tears of blood. Her hair stuck to her neck. As she tried to stand up, the organs and limbs rolled away. However, she only stood up halfway before someone pressed down on her skull. Shush, be quiet. Chen Gu pressed the ghost back into her hiding place. With his improved sight, things in the darkness were as clear as they were in daylight. When he walked into the room, Chen Gu had immediately noticed this slightly abnormal head. Due to the mountain of props, it was a girl of slight stature who hid among the pile of fake organs. When she was pressed back down by Chen Gu, she also did not know how to react. This was something that she had not experienced before, and there was no corresponding method that taught her how to react in the worker's handbook. The girl then sat back down on the floor. With Chin Ji's powerful hand pressing down on her head, 
she had forgotten what she was supposed to say. Heart, heart, where are you? They said that a serious man was the most handsome man, but as that the female ghost watched Chingu searching for his target amid the pile of fake organs, mumbling the word heart, she shivered. Found it. Chingu opened the heart model that was hidden behind the girl. It was hiding an exquisite looking key. After retrieving the key, Chingu left immediately, leaving behind a befuddled female ghost. Looking at Chin Ji's back, she tried to speak multiple times but failed. After Chin Gu left, she rearranged the props around her and reassumed her position. Did I forget to put on my makeup today? After opening the door in the middle of the corridor, the place turned creepier. Due to geographical limitations, the design of Tian Ting Medical School paid extra attention to the details, and the scares were close to each other. After walking through the steel door, the green lights in the corridor kept flashing and the white cloth that lined the corridor fluttered in the wind. The size of the corridor has narrowed by half a meter, there should be something hidden behind these walls. Chin Gu knocked on the wall. I'm right, the wall on the left side is hollow. Chin Gu came across the third room after taking a few more steps. The room was filled with baby cribs that had baby mannequins inside them. A nursery? Chin Gu stood at the door to look around. Just as he went over the threshold, the room was filled with the sound of children crying. All right, don't cry. Come to uncle. Now, where are you? There was more than one speaker installed in the room, so the crying felt like it came from everywhere. There's a meaning to every room inside Tian Ting Medical School. The autopsy room provided the hint about the heart, and the room with white clothes hid the heart, and the heart was the key to moving on. Therefore, this room should have something I need as well. Chen Gu walked to the middle of the room, and he suddenly felt something pull on his shirt. He turned to look, and beside him, a baby had reached its hands out of his crib to grab at Chen Ji's shirt. The baby's face was colored with venom, and the makeup was detailed. The baby mannequin doesn't have a rounded joint. This means that the baby's arm is probably hollow. I should be able to find some signs of wiring. Chin Gu looked around him. To be able to grab me while I was passing by, the person who is controlling the baby must be close, or else their timing wouldn't be so perfect. Based on that line of thinking, they should be hiding under the crib. Chapter 192 You're as good as a real ghost Chin Gu had discovered the ghost underneath the crib, but the ghost did not know that. Come out, brother. Chin Gu pushed the crib aside, and the wiring hidden under the baby pulled taut. A slim man had hidden himself underneath the crib and was holding a remote control in his arms. He was wearing scary makeup, his body drenched in fake blood. Let me ask you, what kind of item am I supposed to look for here? Chen Gu also felt he was being a bit forward, so he added, when I came in, the security didn't tell me anything so perhaps you would be able to. The ghost under the crib didn't say anything and turned to run out of the room. This sudden action surprised Chen Gu. Why did he run? To maintain his heart rate, Chin Gu did not run after the guy. He walked leisurely as he had been doing since he entered the haunted house. A baby grabbing your clothes, this scare is a bit too plain. There should be a bigger scare. Most likely, the actor is supposed to jump out when I am leaving. Picking up the baby from the bed, Chin Gu realized that the makeup skill was still not as good as his was. Su Jinjin. The blanket underneath the baby had this name on it. Why is it her again? Chin Gu picked up all the nearby babies, and all the mannequins had this name underneath them. Ever since I entered the haunted house, I've been seeing this name. Is this some kind of psychological trick? He looked through the nursery and finally found a clue inside one of the cribs. It was a pendant in the shape of a key. The pendant was sitting on a piece of paper. It read, For my daughter. Su Jinjin. Taking something that belonged to the victim will give someone the impression that they're haunted by the dead victim. This note is probably supposed to increase the visitor's fear toward Su Jinjin. The pendant was something that Chin Gu needed to proceed. Not taking it meant the inability to move forward. This was another trick by the haunted house. After picking up the pendant, Chin Gu looked at the note. 
He retrieved the pen spirit's ballpoint pen, and he added a few words to the back of note while mimicking the handwriting, I've written. A little surprise for them. The scare in this room had been exposed by Chen Gu. He walked toward the door, and as he stepped out, there was the sound of something rolling in the dark. Then, a woman with disheveled hair, a face covered with blood, and a bloated stomach ran toward Chen Gu pushing a cart filled with babies. The scariest thing was that the woman had no legs. When he saw this, Chen Ji's heart rate jumped slightly, but he soon calmed down. The woman's body was tightly adhered to the left wall, and he had confirmed that the left wall was suspicious before entering the nursery. Instead of saying that the woman was pushing the cart, the woman was actually sitting inside the cart and was being carried forward. The corridor was small, and the cart moved fast. The pregnant ghost practically flashed across Chen Gu. His gaze filled with resentment locked with Chen Gu. Their faces were merely 20 centimeters away. So, the scariest thing is outside the room, that's quite an ingenious design. The visitors would be afraid when looking for the key inside the nursery. They would sigh in relief when they finally found it. They would be completely unprepared for the female ghost who waited for them as they left the nursery. There are no tracks on the floor, so is there a machine inside the wall that pushes the cart? Chin Gu followed the pregnant ghost as the cart pulled back. His footsteps were light. The pregnant ghost did not know that Chin Gu was following behind her. She enjoyed this experience of scaring people. She turned her body around, hoping to scare Chin Gu again. However, as she turned and met Chin Ji's extremely inquisitive face, she was caught by surprise, and the expression on her face froze. So, you've been squatting inside the cart, that's quite creative. The cart was motorized, and the woman was basically the driver. To protect the visitor's safety, half of the bottom of the cart was connected to the machine inside the wall, and the distance the cart could travel was only one meter. This design is quite interesting, and your gaze earlier did give me the feels. Resentment mixed with hate, it's almost like a real ghost. Chen Gu was never stingy with his praise. After hearing Chen Ji's praise, the pregnant ghost did not know how to reply. She had been in this business for years already, and this was the first time that someone had praised her acting inside a haunted house. Normally, the visitors would not have paid attention to such details. They were like dancers in the dark, they focused on their work, but there was never any appreciation. Sometimes, visitors might even turn aggressive on them. Even though she hated to admit it, she quite enjoyed the compliment. It's nothing. Perhaps she had been a ghost for too long, but even her voice sounded grim. I'm not kidding. Your gaze was similar to an actual ghost. You are an excellent actor. Chin Gu moved on to the next scene with his key. When he left, the woman suddenly realized something. What does he mean by, similar to an actual ghost? Sounds like he has seen an actual ghost before. After the nursery, it was the bathroom. There were several mannequins hanging upside down in it. The scares at Tian Ting Medical School were mostly visual scares like these. It would give its impact at first glance, so those visiting their haunted house would scream endlessly. Other than these scenarios, Chen Ji's haunted house had a different scenario. He depended on continuous influence of the atmosphere to slowly collect the fear inside people's hearts before exploding it at one shot, giving his visitors a scare that echoed deep into their soul. The bathroom, diagnosis room, and the doctor's resting room had no actors, and they depended on mechanisms to scare people. In other words, these were the rooms Tian Ting Medical School gave their visitors to recover themselves. Normal tricks and gory scenes did nothing for Chen Gu. He went through all three rooms easily, and then inside the nooks and crannies of the three rooms, he found three different colored pendant keys. Including the two found inside the heart in the nursery, Chen Gu now had five keys on him. All of the keys have different colors, so there should only be one real key. Chen Gu pocketed all the keys and entered the fourth room. The room was small and had the decor from decades ago. The paint on the walls was yellow, and the chandelier swayed in the wind. There was a dead body lying on top of the office table, 
and there was a plastic knife and several blood-stained patient's records on the floor. There were bloody palm prints on the ceiling, and the floor was covered with messy footprints. The place was messy, like it had been visited by a bunch of ghosts. This is interesting. Why is the dead body's frame so similar to the young man that was hiding under the crib earlier? Chin Gu walked to the office table and found something interesting. On the bookshelf behind the table sat an old-fashioned tape recorder that was no longer in production. Chapter 193, Getting Interesting Tape Recorder had its popularity in the 80s and 90s, but with the advent of internet, it had slowly become obsolete. Perhaps to preserve the feel of the bygone era, Tian Ting Medical School had placed many antiques inside this room, and the most conspicuous was the tape recorder and an old-fashioned flashlight. Chen Gu was reminded of a horror flick he had seen a long time ago. The recorder would play on its own every midnight, and those who heard it would die a horrible death. Is this just a prop? Chen Gu completely ignored the dead body that was collapsed on the table. He walked past it to head for the bookshelf. When he was one meter away from the recorder, the play button pressed down on its own. A sensor? No, someone is probably remote controlling it. Chen Gu turned back to look, and the dead body was lying in such a way that his head was deep buried inside his arms. Compared to the dead body, Chen Gu was more interested in this recorder before him. After the button was pressed, the tape started to play. After the initial white noise, a middle-aged man's voice could be heard. Please, forgive me. Please, I beg of you. The man was begging, and it sounded like death would have been a release. Following his screams, there was sound of cutting and tearing. It was direct and gory. When Chen Gu heard it, the images appeared in his mind. Bones were snapped and skin was torn open, it was the cruelest torture. Tian Ting probably wouldn't use this for normal visitors. The dead body on the table twitched slightly when he heard Chen Gu say that. The reality was not far from his spe speculation. The content of the tape had been swapped at the last minute specifically for Chen Gu. Chen Gu had gotten used to fear and terror, but he still flinched at gore and cruelty. In that manner, he was no different from a normal person. It's still ongoing? Do they plan to use this as the background music? Chen Gu listened patiently because he assumed that the recording would contain clues that might help him clear the game. However, he listened for a full minute and it was still screaming from the torture and begging for mercy. The person would have fainted from blood loss earlier than this. How can he still be so spirited after one minute of fatal blood loss? Then again, the actor they hired sure is a good one. He has managed to create a scary feeling just using his voice. The man's voice eventually weakened, and he started to pay for all the horrible things he had done. Chen Gu then realized that the victim on the tape was the director of Tian Ting Medical School, a man who would do anything for money. Who would have thought that this is a story with a moral of good things happen to good people and bad things happen to bad people? At the end of the tape, the director admitted to all the bad things he had done. He begged his tormentors to not harm his daughter with his last breath. Here, the twist arrived. Just as the director begged for his tormentors to not harm his daughter, there was the sound of door opening in the recording. It was quickly followed by a woman's scream, and the director screamed, Jinjin, run. The recording ended there, and Chen Gu did not know what to think about this story. The director was obviously guilty, but the daughter was probably innocent. In any case, that was not important. The important thing was, the daughter had walked into the room when the monsters were tormenting her father. Then, her ending would probably be the same as her father's. All the mannequins inside Tian Ting Medical School have the name Su Jinjin written on them, what is the meaning of that? Tian Ting Medical School was famous within the haunted house circle, and all the scenes had been designed by a professional team. Challenging such a large moving haunted house at its highest difficulty, there had to be something to this name. All the workers inside the haunted house are playing a fake ghosts, but that's all to hide an actual ghost? From the female body that greeted everyone at the entrance and the mannequins that had lost their organs in the autopsy room as well as the repetition of Su Jinjin's name over the haunted house, Chen Gu had an idea why Tian Ting Medical School did all these things. No matter how realistic the actor's makeup is, 
the visitors know internally that they're fake, so they have to create up a real ghost that feels like she's trailing behind all the visitors, and Su Jinjin takes on that role. The creativity was there, and it gave Chen Gu a lot of inspiration. All this for a real ghost? In that case, I'll give you one. Chen Gu realized that the tape was almost done. He pressed the eject button. He was facing away from the dead body, so no one knew what he was doing. This kind of tape recorder is no longer sold on the market. Perhaps I can find one at the flea market, but that's only if I'm lucky. Now that I have one before me, I might as well use it to try this tape that I have. He inserted his tape into the recorder and pressed play. The tape started to roll, but there was no sound. An empty tape? Chin Gu waited. He walked around the room, like he was admiring the decor. After leaving third sick hall, Tian Ting Medical School was like going on a holiday. Chin Gu had not felt so relaxed in a long time already. A haunted house is indeed a good place to release stress. When I go back, I'll have to change my promotional slogan. After a stroll around the room, Chin Gu picked up a yellowed newspaper from the floor. He scanned it and realized that it was not fake. It was dated several years ago. Shanghai Morning News? Chen Gu was intrigued. Four years ago, a woman had run to an abandoned hospital to commit suicide. After investigation, it was made clear that the woman's name was Su Jinjin. The hospital had once belonged to her father, and her father had committed suicide ten years before that in his own office. Same destination but different victim. This mysterious double suicide caused a wave through Xinghai. The medical doctor confirmed that the woman had died from suicide, but after her death, obvious red handprints surfaced on her body, it looked very weird. After that, people's interest moved on, and so did the police. The case was thus ended. The victim's name is Su Jinjin. Looks like this is the secret hidden at Tian Ting Medical School. Chin Gu put down the paper. A normal visitor would have run out screaming and would have missed details like this. Only a brave visitor would search slowly, and when they found out that the haunted house was based on a real event, the defense in their heart would crack. They would start to doubt themselves, increasing the fear inside their heart. Tian Ting Medical School's design was perfect, but those designers who had been in the business for more than a decade did not expect that they would receive a customer like Chin Gu one day. This haunted house sure is interesting. Chin Gu thought back to the map that he had seen inside the security stop. He had visited two-thirds of the scenes already, and he was close to the exit. Chapter 194, So Painful. So Painful. Other than the tape and newspaper article, Chin Gu found many other hints about Su Jinjin inside the office. For example, in a broken photo frame left in the corner of the bookshelf, there was a picture of a father and daughter, but both of their faces had been blocked out. There was the man's will inside the table's drawer, and it did mention the name Su Jinjin. There was not one picture of Su Jinjin, but the mention of the girl's name could be found all over the haunted house. Tian Ting Medical School is using a real case to design their haunted house. Aren't they afraid of evoking the real Su Jinjin? Haunted houses were natural locales where negative energy gathered. It shied away from sunlight and was the perfect hiding location for spirits and ghosts. They say dreams are reflections of real life. Every day, people in the haunted house are calling Su Jinjin's name, what if she heard them? Tian Ting Medical School had no idea what they had done. They had completely replicated a real case inside their haunted house and used all the real case's information as hints. It might have looked clever to others, but Chin Gu thought that they were playing with fire. There are gods everywhere. Even if you don't believe in them, you don't need to go and actively taunt them. Even though Chin Gu was brave, it was undeniable that he had never been incautious of the unknown. It was why he would prepare extensively before going on any trial missions. He had finished half of Tian Ting Medical School, and the light in the corridor was getting brighter. It's time to leave. Chin Gu was not sure if Su Jinjin was inside the haunted house, but he knew his target. His focus was to clear the haunted house, and that was the only thing he was going to do. After another round, Chin Gu returned to the tape recorder. 
When he got close, he could hear something that sounded like muffled crying. It was soft and seemed to come from inside the recorder. The ghost inside the tape is coming out. Chen Gu took one step back and reached one hand into his pocket to hold the ballpoint pen while his other hand shoved that dead body on the table lightly. He was afraid that accidents might happen, and he did not have the time to look after this actor. However, to his surprise, he only nudged the person lightly when the man leaned to his side and collapsed onto the floor. What happened? Is it Su Jinjin? He had seen real ghosts before, and he knew this could be the sign that a real ghost had appeared. Am I that lucky? Even when I'm visiting other people's haunted house, I ran into a ghost. Chen Gu started to panic when he was reminded of his specter's favored title. He immediately rushed forward to help the man on the floor. He wanted to save the man before it was too late. The actor died from playing dead? What kind of story will that make? As Chen Gu squatted down to grab the man's hand, a human head stuck out from underneath the table. The actor had been using his body to block the space from Chen Ji's sight. It was so close that Chen Gu did not have time to evade. The human head rammed right into his chest. His heart raced and only calmed down after several seconds. Chen Gu looked at the mannequin head in his arms and the dead body on the ground, and it dawned on him. Brother, are you trying to get revenge for humiliating you at the nursery? When the dead body was collapsed on the table earlier, his face had been hidden from view. Now that his face was revealed, Chen Gu realized that the man had not even changed his makeup. His face was smudged with fake blood. He placed his finger under the man's nostrils. After making sure there was a breath, Chen Gu stood up. He did not plan to stay there any longer, it was time to leave. He walked to the tape recorder and pressed the stop button. He pressed it multiple times, but the tape kept playing. He tried other buttons, but there was still no response. It can't be stopped. Chen Gu could not leave the tape inside Tian Ting Medical School, but taking it with him would be stealing. When Chen Gu was operating the recorder, the light crying slowly became louder, and there were some other sounds mixed into it. It sounded like electrical current but very muffled. Chen Gu tried to remember the introduction to the tapes. About one second later, a voice appeared on the recording. It could have been male or female, and it only appeared for mere seconds. Someone is talking? What is he trying to say? This was the first time Chen Gu had communicated with the tape. He did not dare take this lightly, after all, this was a ghost that had been given to him by the black phone. He listened patiently, and the voice reappeared soon. Pain. Mixed within white noise, the voice sounded unreal. As the tape continued to play, the voice became clearer. It's a man's voice, and it sounds young. He focused his hearing on the tapes and suddenly the play button on the recorder pressed downwards. Chen Gu turned to look at the dead body on the floor. The man had also heard the noises inside the recording. He silently reached into his pocket to press on a mini controller. However, it was too late to stop the recorder now. The baleful specter inside the tape had awoken. Even if he pressed all the buttons, it would be pointless. So painful. The voice inside the tape continued to grow as if the baleful specter was slowly losing control. The only thing Chen Gu could think of doing then was to leave with the tape recorder. Following his inability to stop the recorder after several tries, the dead body on the floor opened his lips to say, what's going on? He sat up with the fake blood flowing down his face. Something wrong with your equipment? Chen Gu could not possibly say that he had inserted a baleful specter into their recorder, and now he could not remove it. I suppose so. The actor was unsure as well. He reached out to grab the recorder, but before his finger touched it, a blood-curdling scream could be heard coming from the recorder. So painful. The actor shivered, and he pulled back his hand like he had been shocked. What are you so scared? Isn't this a setup by your haunted house? Chen Gu stood before the recorder to prevent accidents from happening. I was there when we recorded the tape, we didn't record anything like that, the dead body, said seriously. 
He took out his phone and asked inside a chat room, who tweaked with the tapes inside the director's office? There was no answer, but in this short period, the voice coming from the recorder turned mad. It was filled with endless hate and resentment. So painful. So f asterisk king painful. It sounded like there were actual knives poking holes in his body, and he was trying his best to stop the wounds but could only look on helplessly as more wounds appeared on his body. The actor's body was shaking. At that moment, he was truly afraid. Your haunted house sure is courageous to use an actual incident to design your set. Weren't you afraid that the spirit might return to haunt you? Chen Gu purposely lowered his voice as he stared at the actor. I hear people say you shouldn't repeat a dead person's name willy-nilly, whether verbally or in written form. Otherwise, bad things might happen. Stop, the actor yelped. He told everything that had happened inside the office and the chat room. Then with forced confidence, he told Chen Gu, just a technical accident. It'll be fine. Just as he said that, there were footsteps coming from outside the door. The pregnant ghost that Chen Gu had seen earlier rushed into the room with terror on her face. She was holding a piece of paper in her hand, and she was gasping for air. All right? Why are you here? The actor asked nervously. He was already panicking, and it only heightened when he saw the female actor. There's something on the note. I saw it accidentally. The woman placed the note before the actor. She is back. Chapter 195, Tian Ting Medical School's haunting past when the woman said that, Chen Gu could clearly see the hairs on the back of the man's neck stand upright. Chen Gu had filled in several words, mimicking the original handwriting, as a prank, but he did not think that the actor's reaction would be so big. With his eyes narrowed, Chen Gu stood between the recorder and the actors. He had a feeling that this haunted house was more than it appeared, perhaps it was really haunted. Xinghai was a large city. Tian Ting Medical School had spent a lot of resources to set up their haunted house there, but they had left in a hurry to move to Zhejiang City, which was far from Xinghai, after being in operation for only a few weeks. If they knew Su Zhenzhen might draw her spirit back, why did they insist on using her name inside the haunted house? Chen Gu could not understand the proprietor's thought. Did he really think that moving the location would be able to shake her spirit off? Or does this Suzhenjin have a special meaning for the proprietor? The light in the haunted house was dim, so the actor had to bring the note close to his face before he could get a good look. The handwriting is still wet. He turned to look at Chen Gu but quickly looked back. He mumbled to himself, we've only had one visitor so far. Let's say he brought a pen with him and wrote this, how does that explain the voice in the recorder? This scene is newly added and no one other than the design team knows about the tape recorder. I don't think someone would be weird enough to visit a haunted house with an audio tape on him. Just as the actor was thinking, the scream appeared once more in the recorder. The pain was different from the one recorded by the actor. Even though it was broadcasted through speakers, it was enough to make the listeners shiver from terror. It sounded like the murder was happening right beside them. Brother Lin the female actor moved toward the door. How come the recording sounds so real? I have no clue. The man turned back to look, and he found Chen Gu still standing beside the recorder. He hesitated for a while before ignoring Chen Gu and rushing to the woman's side. He whispered, other than this note, did you find anything else in the room that you're responsible for? No. What about the others? They should be coming soon. The woman's eyes darted about like she was on the verge of a breakdown. Did that thing return? We've just opened for business, and didn't the boss say that he has already taken care of it? What are you guys talking about? What happened here? Chen Gu picked up the recorder. He planned to persuade the actors to let him bring the recorder out of the haunted house with him. Looking at Chen Gu and the recorder he was carrying, the two actors froze. Put that thing down the female actor demanded shrilly. We did not record the voice that is coming out of it now. Of course, Chen Gu knew that, but he could not admit that he knew. The recorder is inside your haunted house. If you didn't record this tape, who did? Are you telling me that a ghost did? 
The man was stunned speechless. Afterwards, it was the woman who stepped forth in spite of the man's intervention and explained, when we were in Shanghai, one of the visitors was so scared that she left in tears. She told us that one of our actors was really realistic in her acting, but in reality, she was not supposed to be scared at the place that she was. We asked her for a description of the actor and realized her description matched Su Jinjin perfectly. Maybe the visitor was playing a prank on you? Chen Gu asked with a weird expression. She might have been kidding. That happened more than once. After that day, more and more visitors saw Su Jinjin. The man took out the Buddha pendant that was around his neck. Every one of us has something to ward against the such things, but weirdly enough, until now, none of the workers have seen Su Jinjin. Since there is a real haunting, why did you insist on placing hints related to Su Jinjin all over the haunted house? Aren't you afraid of calling her back? Chen Gu thought this bunch of people had something wrong with their minds. Or are you still acting now? The note and recording are also tricks to scare me? I swear to God, we're not acting, both actors promised. First you have to understand one thing. Since our first stop was Xinghai, we decided to incorporate the set design with a real case to increase the scare factor to draw in more visitors. Su Zhenzhen's suicide case is quite famous in Xinghai. The sight of the name pulls out the visitor's memories about her case. The man did not look so good. We were forced to do this. For the past two years, the number of visitors has been dropping, and we have tested many different types of set designs. To preserve our popularity, we have to try something new. So, you decided to incorporate a real case into the design? Chin Gu felt like these people were more courageous than he was, at least he had a safety net for everything he did at the haunted house. Reality has proved that it works. After we did this, the reputation and fame kept rising. Many visitors came back to solve Su Zhenzhen's secret after they found the hints. If everything was going so well, why did you come to Zhejiang? Wouldn't it make more sense for you to stay in Xinghai to reap in the money? The recorder in Chen Ji's arms continued to scream, but the man did not seem to hear it. The two actors looked at Chen Gu and did not know what to say. As Chen Gu took one step forward, they both took one step back in unison. The fact that many visitors have surprisingly seen Su Zhenzhen was a good promotion for our haunted house. We enjoyed quite a period of very high popularity, but the fame came with a price. It attracted the ire of Su Zhenzhen's family, and her little sister came to find us. The female actor explained the secret past of Tian Ting Medical School. While he listened, Chen Gu turned off the audio recorder. During the negotiation, Su Zhenzhen's sister said that she felt we were ruining her sister and father's names. She requested for a high amount of compensation and wanted us to edit the content of our design. Our boss only agreed to remove Su Zhenzhen's name. Compensation and editing the entire design was impossible. In her anger, she threatened to sue. I don't know what happened next, but in any case, the haunted house closed not long after that. The woman should have been telling the truth. It was difficult for large moving haunted houses to get approval from the government, so they could get banned easily if they got into any trouble. Chen Gu knew this well because his parents had originally managed a mobile haunted house. It was not until they had found enough popularity that they settled down at New Century Park. We collected the props, changed the layout as well as name, and moved to another city, but the result was horrid. The haunted house only managed to stay in business for two weeks before the visitors dried up. After a discussion, we felt the problem lay with Su Zhenzhen. Therefore, we moved to Zhejiang, which is very far from Xinghai, and returned everything to how it was when we were at our prime. The two actors had already retreated to the door. Looking at Chen Gu, who held the tape recorder, they had revealed everything. Completed Novel House Chapter 196 Swaying, if you have not done anything wrong, there is nothing to be afraid of. At the end of the day, you want to use Su Zhenzhen to make money. Chen Gu understood everything now. Originally, Tian Ting Medical School wanted to use a fake ghost to create an eerie atmosphere, but they had inadvertently summoned the real thing. Stop, don't come any closer, the woman screamed, but it was immediately swallowed by the male screaming that continued to pour out of the recorder. 
So painful. So painful. The man's voice rang again, but this time, the three people in the room froze. Brother Lin, am I mistaken? The woman's arm was shaking. Has that voice escaped the recorder? The man was dumbfounded, too. He was sure that the scream earlier did not come from the recorder. The two actors looked behind Chen Gu with their bodies shaking, and this unsettled Chen Gu. There's something behind me? He reached into his pocket to curl his fingers around the ballpoint pen, and the muscles in his legs tensed. Not behind you. As they answered, the actors retreated to the corner of the corridor, maintaining a distance of three meters from Chen Gu. If it's not behind me, why are you all running? Chen Gu squeezed the question through his teeth. These people sure knew how to abandon him when an accident happened. Whenever anything happened at his haunted house, whether it was a real ghost or fake ghost, Chen Gu would be the one leading the way. So painful, so painful. Something even scarier happened, the source of the man's voice filled the room. The sound seemed to be moving forward like there was a wounded man dragging his broken body forward. After it disappeared for two seconds, the man's voice suddenly appeared before the woman. Pain, so painful. The woman's scream almost shattered Chen Ji's eardrums. She did not expect this to happen, and without turning around, she ran down the corridor before her. Ah Roy. The man did not dare make any sudden movements. He leaned against the wall. When there were two of them, he had been afraid, and now he had been left alone. Chen Gu picked up the recorder, and the play button was still shining like a red eyeball. The tape was still rolling, but the man's voice had escaped into the corridor. It has left the tape. Based on his previous experience, Chen Gu managed to gauge this baleful specter's power. Lingering spirits and the lowest baleful specters could not leave the things that they possessed. For example, Xiao Xiao had never left the ragdoll. Stronger than Xiao Xiao was the mirror ghost and pen spirit. They could leave their possessed item occasionally but needed to return soon. Above that would be the thin monster inside the third sick hall. They spent most of their time squatting on living human's shoulders, but they could survive even if they were not attached to a human. The most powerful was naturally the red specters. They did not need to attach themselves to anything, they were technically the real ghosts. The thing inside the tape should be between Pen Spirit and the Thin Monster. The man's horrible screams kept echoing everywhere. He seemed to have no purpose. He did not target the male actor, who was frozen at the wall, or the female actor, who had run down the corridor. This ghost acted very curiously like he was looking for something. All the screams talked about pain. What happened to him before he died? After winning the weeping tape, Chen Gu wanted to hear what the baleful specter had to say, that was the easiest way to get to know the specter. Due to a lack of a usable recorder, Chen Gu had not had the chance to communicate with the tape ghost, and this was technically their first meeting. So painful, so painful. The man's voice stopped inside the corridor before slowly moving toward the haunted house's entrance. Did he find something? Chen Ji's eyes suddenly glowed. The tape ghost probably had found the real ghost hiding inside the haunted house. This thought flashed across Chen Ji's mind, and he picked up the recorder and ran out of the room. The actor also heard the sound leaving, so he pulled out his phone and yelled into the chat room, The ghost is heading your way. Run. Run out from the entrance. The few actors at the front few scenarios had not been so afraid in the beginning, but after hearing the man's urgent screams, they started to panic. They were all workers at the haunted house, so there was no reason for the man to trick his own colleagues. Quick. Run. The thing is coming your way. After he shouted that into the phone, the man ran the other way from the baleful specter. In his hurry, he did not even have the time to see his colleagues reply. What is the point in screaming? Chen Gu chased after the specter, maintaining a distance of two to three meters. When he passed the cart in front of the nursery, a small girl suddenly ran out of the room that carried the mountain of fake organs. She had just pushed the door open when the baleful specter screamed, so painful. The gut-wrenching scream sounded at the door. The girl looked at the empty corridor before teetering several steps back. 
She tripped on one of the props and fell into the pile of fake organs. Who's there? Come out. Her small voice was choked with tears. She held her phone and asked for help in the employee chat group, but there was no reply. So painful. So painful. The baleful specter's voice entered the room. The girl could only hear the screams but not see the person, and the makeup on her face was ruined from tears. There was nothing around her. The girl shrunk deeper into the pile of mannequins. She piled the mannequins around her and planned to bury herself deep within the mountain. Chen Gu followed closely behind the specter. When he walked into the door and saw this, he was shocked by what the girl was doing. Chen Gu yanked the girl out from the pile and said, Inform your people to leave through the entrance. Feeling the temperature from Chen Ji's palm, the girl recovered. She stumbled out of the room. The baleful specter did not give chase after the girl. It roamed the room before entering the autopsy room. Chen Gu was now confident that this ghost was looking for something. There was the sound of gears turning coming from the corridor. The girl had informed the other actors, and they were all leaving. Chen Gu was probably the only living human left inside the haunted house. Let me see what you are exactly looking for. Chen Gu held the ballpoint pen and the tape recorder as he followed the voice to the entrance of Tian Ting Medical School. In the narrow corridor, a green light continued to flicker. It made the corridor look scarier than it was, and at the end of the corridor, a dried female body swayed left and right. So painful. The baleful specter's scream stopped beside the female body. Chen Gu walked to mannequin as well. Looking at the mannequin that hung in the middle of the corridor, a twinge of fear curled around his heart. When he entered the haunted house and helped the man inside the box stand up, he had felt something touch the back of his head. When he turned around to look, he had discovered that it was the swaying, female body. Chapter 197 The Visitor Is Still Inside? Looks like Su Jinjin is hiding inside the female body prop. Staring at the prop that hung at the entrance, Chen Gu felt a chill inside his heart. Who would have thought this prop hanging by the door was hiding a real ghost? Every visitor entered the haunted house under her watchful gaze and some of the visitors had probably even touched her. Now I have to answer another question. Why does the tape ghost want to find Su Jinjin? Is there some kind of relationship between them, or was the tape ghost merely hungry and wanted to ingest another ghost? Chen Gu had no clue whether Su Jinjin was a baleful specter or a lingering spirit. He knew the woman had treated Tian Ting Medical School as her home, and it was because of her that Tian Ting Medical School had their current popularity. When Tian Ting Medical School was operating at Xinghai, there were no accidents or injuries, so this Su Jinjin is probably not hostile toward humans. Chen Gu had the mind to let Su Jinjin be, but he did not have the power to control the tape ghost. The male screams echoed around the hanging female body. The body kept shaking like she had felt the incoming threat. Several seconds later, the prop was twisted by an unknown force into a weird angle, and a leg was directly pulled off. The tape ghost is trying to swallow Su Jinjin. Perhaps he had imagined it, but Chen Gu saw a painful expression on the mannequin's face, and when that expression appeared, the tape ghost's scream suddenly stopped. The man has transferred his pain to another ghost? Or has something happened here? While Chen Gu was confused, the other leg of the mannequin was yanked off. The lines of visitors were chewing each other's ears. The proprietor looked at the flat lines on screen and his face was dropping. The haunted house did not have brilliant sound insulation, and there had been screams, but they were all female screams. It was a male visitor who entered the haunted house, but they were female screams that came out of it. This was also the first time the proprietor had come across something so curious. South Close. He looked at the peak of the line that represented Chin Ji's heart rate. It had risen to 96 at its highest, so close to 100. Boss, how long will this activity of yours go on for? We've been waiting for almost 30 minutes already. Some of the visitors started to complain. Please be patient. Give it another five minutes. I'm sure the guy will be out soon. The proprietor did not have confidence in what he said and grumbled to himself, there's a hidden plot for brave visitors. He's also the owner of a haunted house, so he has to have discovered it. 
what's the holdup? Just as the proprietor was mulling over this, the sound of rushing footsteps came out from the entrance. He's coming out. Based on the rapid footsteps, it sounds like he is quite scared. The proprietor nodded in satisfaction upon hearing the footsteps. He looked at the screen again and consoled himself. I knew that no one could maintain their heart rate below 100 when they visited a haunted house. Something must be broken with the machine. He took out the loudspeaker and turned to the crowd. Our first visitor is coming out soon. We can compare how he was before he entered and how he is now, and then we'll ask for his thoughts. Everyone's gaze was pulled toward the entrance. The footsteps came closer, and finally, there was a loud bang as the thick curtain and wooden door of the exit were pushed open. Someone's out. She was wearing a large patient's outfit, and her black hair stuck to her neck. Cold sweat ruined her makeup, and from afar, only her eyes that bulged from fear could be seen. Wait, isn't that a woman? The visitor closest to the door questioned. This transformation is too huge. All right. The proprietor forgot to turn off his loudspeaker and yelled out the female actor's name. The visitor had gone inside the haunted house, but it was the actor who played a ghost that came out first. Following behind the appearance of the female actor, there was another set of footsteps. This time, without the guidance from the proprietor, everyone's gaze was turned toward the exit. The curtain was pulled back, and a male actor covered with fake blood rushed out. He was running very fast like he was running for his life. The moment he exited the haunted house, he collapsed to the floor. What's going on? Is this another activity organized by the haunted house? The proprietor did not even have the chance to get over his initial shock. Why is there another? Looking inside the haunted house, the darkened entrance had no light, so the people outside had no idea what happened inside. The proprietor walked down the stage and ran to the exit. He wanted to ask the two actors what was going on. However, before he reached his destination, the wooden door at the exit was slammed open again. This was the loudest one yet. Three actors, two guys and one girl, spilled out at once. The three of them were wearing ghost makeup, but they looked very worse for wear. The smallest female actor had tears in her eyes, and half a broken hand and a model of a spleen were poking out from her uniform. What's going on? The proprietor asked the question that was on everyone's mind. Boss who, there's a ghost inside. Really, Su Jinjin has returned. The only one still standing was the security ghost. He ran toward the boss with the walkie-talkie in his hand. Listen to the sound. Both Brother Lin and Ah Roy have seen her. Even Xiao Yi has heard her, it's real. That's not important. The proprietor pushed the walkie-talkie aside. He looked at his workers who were collapsed on the floor. All of you are out here, but where is the visitor? The visitor? The security guard turned back to look, and he said uncertainly, the visitor seems to still be in there? Still inside. The proprietor felt like fainting. He had been in the business for almost a decade, and this was the first time that all of the actors had left the haunted house while the visitor was still inside experiencing his tour. Wait. All of you are out here, but the visitor is in there alone. Is that because he thinks the real ghost is our actor? That should be it. Xiao Yi said that the visitor has been following the ghost. The proprietor felt like fainting. What kind of monstrosity had he attracted this time? Boss who, what should we do now? Call the cops? Call the cops on our opening day? You want us to close down that quickly? The proprietor glared at the security guard. Bring your stuff and come back with me. All of you, get up from the floor. We need to go look for the man. The few actors were forced to stand up. The proprietor in his smart suit, holding the loudspeaker, led the team of ghosts carefully into the haunted house. Chapter 198 What color do you prefer? In the center of the corridor, both of the mannequin's legs had been yanked off. The rope around the mannequin's neck tightened like someone was pulling on her. What is this guy trying to achieve? Ever since he reached the female body, the tape ghost had stopped screaming. The more he thought about it, 
the more confused Chen Gu felt. The mannequin is the item of possession for Su Zhenzhen, so the tape ghost is trying to force her out? While he was thinking, the rope around the mannequin's neck snapped. The mannequin fell to the floor, and the head detached from her body and rolled several meters away until it stopped at the corner, her eyes staring at her body. The roughly made mannequin face started to change from struggle to fear, then slowly reverting to normal. The fake lips moved like she was trying to say something. Several seconds later, the screams returned to the corridor, but unlike before, there was now an additional female voice. So painful. So painful. The voice of a male and female surrounded Chen Gu and the screams greatly unsettled him. Why is Su Zhenzhen screaming alongside the tape ghost? Does he have the ability to assimilate other ghosts? Chen Gu had no idea what the tape ghost had done to Su Zhenzhen, this was the tape ghost's biggest secret. The alternating sound of male and female screams flooded Chen Ji's ears. It caused his eyelids to twitch. He tried turning off the recorder, but it would not work. Pain, so much pain. The voice seemed to touch Chen Ji's face. Then it slowly weakened until there was a click on the recorder. The play button stopped working. The corridor no longer felt so depressed, and Chen Gu could breathe easier. Even the mannequin head that was left on the floor did not look so scary. Chen Gu opened the recorder. When he removed the tape, the black phone vibrated. A message at a time like this? Chen Gu stood beside the female mannequin and took out his phone to take a look. Congratulations, Spectres favored. You have unlocked Su Yin's affection mission. Completing the affection mission will greatly increase Su Yin's affection level, and there's a high chance that you might be able to employ him at your haunted house. Mission Venue, Fang Hua Apartments Mission Goal, you only have one night to find Su Yin's lover. Mission Hint, Honey, White, Black, and Red, which color do you prefer? The information on screen was only a few lines, but Chen Gu looked through it several times. Fang Hua Apartments isn't that where Wang Xian is staying? I've been there once when I was trying to help the pen spirit. The mission given by the black phone came with a certain danger level. Furthermore, based on what he knew of the tape ghost, something tragic must have happened to him for him to have such a deep level of resentment. Chen Gu did not want to take another mission after just finishing the third sick hall's trial mission, but the reward of employing a ghost at his haunted house was too hard to give up upon. The tape ghost is slightly stronger than the pen spirit. If I can hire him, then doing trial missions in the future will be safer. Just as Chen Gu made the decision, the phone in his pocket rang. It was from an unknown number. There are only a few who know my number. Who could this be? Chen Gu let the phone rang for a few seconds before he answered it. Chen Gu, this is Captain Yen. Captain Yen? Why are you calling? The three suspects that you found at the third sick hall, two of them have been found dead at their home. Dead. Chen Gu was shocked. He was about to ask Captain Yen for more details when the black phone in his other hand vibrated. There was new information on screen. Chen Gu looked at and was shocked to see that the completion rate of the third sick hall had risen to 65%. Chen Gu? Are you there? Sorry, just a little shocked. They were fine a few days ago, why did they suddenly die? At 3 a.m. yesterday, we received a call. The person who made the call said that his name was Su Tong. He said many curious things, and he made so no sense, so we couldn't understand what he was trying to communicate. So, you hung up on him? Of course not. Su Tong was a suspect on the run. The officer who answered the call contacted us immediately, however, when we triangulated his position and found him, he was already dead. There was a trace of hardly discernible feeling mixed in Captain Yan's tone. He and a single-armed man were both stuffed inside a dresser. The actual cause of death is still unknown, and there were no obvious wounds on their bodies. Perhaps the killer is their former ally? The man's name is Xiong Qing. His face is twisted, so he's easily recognizable. Leave the detective work to us. I asked for your number from Inspector Li because I wanted to remind you in person. Captain Yen sent two pictures to Chen Gu. 
These are pictures that we found in the victim's phones. They might be targeting you. The transfer was slow. Chen Gu needed to wait several seconds before he could see the content clearly. The first picture was taken when Chen Gu was hauled into the police car outside of Third Sick Hall, and the second picture was of Chen Gu when he left the police station. Both pictures were fuzzy. The person who had taken the pictures was very cautious, they had stood very far away when they took those pictures. These pictures were taken by Su Tong. Chen Gu did not think that he would one day be stalked. That doesn't matter anymore. The important thing is they seem to be part of something larger. They're part of a group that does things systematically, and that changes a lot of thing. Right, I've told you all that morning that there might be eight killers, and they were all once patients in the third sick hall. Other than Wang Xinglong, all the remaining patients were incurable mad persons. Captain Yen sighed. The clue you gave us has helped tremendously. We checked the information from four years ago, and after comparison, there were three of those eight patients who seemed to have evaporated off the face of the earth after the hospital closed down. There is no physical or online trail of them anywhere. Chapter 199, Fong Hua Apartments Even you can't find information on these few patients? Chin Gu was shocked. Can you tell me which three persons they are? Maybe I can provide you with more clues. You still remember stuff that happened four or five years ago? Chin Gu had given Captain Yen many surprises. Since Chin Gu had helped greatly in the Ping and apartment case, Captain Yen was willing to reveal some information to him. These three patients were respectively patients of room 7, 9, and 10 inside the third sick hall. Chin Gu memorized what Captain Yen said and compared it to the information provided by Dr. Gao. Patient number 7 suffered from Codard syndrome or the walking corpse syndrome. He believed that he was already a dead man, telling the doctors that his organs had all decayed. According to Dr. Gao's analysis, the patient had been confirmed dead, but that was what he had read from the hospital records. No one had seen his body, so this information could be fake. Patient number 9 was Wu Fei, the individual Men Nan's main persona warned him to be careful about. Patient number 10 was the individual whom the doctors and patients dubbed the devil. There was no information on this patient, but it was certainly related to the old director. After all, he had managed the entire center, and he was the one responsible for managing this information. Alas, the old director had been torn apart by Zhang Ya already, and only his head remained behind the door. It would be hard to get information from him. Chen Ji's mind turned. After Su Tong and the patient with the phantom limb syndrome died, his mission completion rate had risen by 5%, and this pointed away for Chen Gu. Does this mean the capture or death of all the escaped patients will continue to increase the mission's completion rate? There was indeed such a possibility. After all, the patients had received a new life from the door inside the third sick hall. They had been branded by the third sick hall, and technically, they were part of the third sick hall. Realizing that Chen Gu had remained silent for a while, Captain Yen continued. We wanted to interview the doctors and nurses who once worked at the third sick hall for information on these three patients, but we came across with something horrible. What is it? The doctors who knew about these three patients have all died mysterious deaths, some from accidents, others suicide. Captain Yen paused as if gauging whether he should continue. Captain Yen, I promise to not leak anything you tell me. I'm not worried about that. I don't want to scare you. There was a shift in Captain Yan's tone. The most unique case was a female doctor. She moved away from Jiujiang with her boyfriend, but she couldn't escape fate. None of the deaths seemed connected to each other, and the murder locations were completely different. There wasn't a pattern to the occurrence of these deaths either, so the police didn't link them. But once the connection of the third sick hall surfaced, we looked over the cases again, and new patterns emerged. Taking out the accidents, about 90% of the deaths were detailed murders. Captain Yen was trying to warn Shen Gu that his situation was very dangerous. This bunch of people sure is brave. After giving a dry laugh, Chen Gu headed for the exit. He wanted to leave this place and return to New Century Park as soon as possible. They are a bunch of crazies. 
Their way of thinking is different from normal, and they will stop at nothing. The scariest thing is they think what they're doing is not wrong, and that is most difficult to deal with. Captain Yen also had a hard time dealing with these people. In any case, be careful. If you find out anything, remember to contact me. Okay. Before Captain Yen hung up, Chen Gu said, Captain Yen, other than these three patients, you also have the information on the other patients, right? Can I take a look at them? After all, I'm the only one who has interacted with them before. I'm warning you, don't do anything stupid. You misunderstand me. I'm just curious. Since you already have the information on part of the patients, why don't you capture them now and then interrogate them for more information? Chin Gu could not be too careful since this involved his life. Is it because you're afraid of alerting the rest? Do you plan to capture them all at once? If only things are that simple. Captain Yen did not go into the details, but it sounded like they had come into some trouble. The information is not supposed to be leaked to the public, but since you're one of the victims, I'll pick some of the files that you can see and send them to you. After a few more words, Captain Yen hung up and sent the files to Chin Gu. Each patient had their assigned number, and all the information had been compiled into files. What Chin Gu was reading was the information that had been arranged by the police. Patient in Room 1, Wang Xinglong. The first page was the information on Wang Xinglong. The information on him was the most detailed, including where he had been treated in the past few years, how many times he moved over the past five years, and the people he had interacted with. The police had everything on him. The second page was on a woman. The woman looked perfect, practically flawless. However, there was an uneven feeling about her like she did not think the face belonged to her. Chin Gu had some memory of this second patient. Dr. Gao said that this woman suffered from Dorian Gray syndrome. She was particularly afraid of aging, had undergone plenty of plastic surgeries, and relied on a large amount of makeup. According to the police's information, the woman had disappeared half a year ago, and the last place she was seen was at Fang Hua Apartments. When Chin Gu saw the name of the location, his heart shook. Everything was revolving around the same place, which could not be a coincidence. Chen Gu hurried down the corridor and passed all the scenes until he found the exit. There was light at the end of the tunnel. Just when he was several meters away from the exit, he saw a group of six or seven huddled together moving forward slowly with a bitter expression on their faces. What are you guys doing? Chen Gu walked toward them with the tape recorder. Wait, the proprietor yelled at Chen Gu through the loudspeaker. R, are you alright? Why wouldn't I be? Do you think I'm possessed or something? Chin Gu walked past the proprietor and his workers with a shrug. Your haunted house is now safe, but let me remind you, the money earned on the back of ghosts could be cursed. The light was rather blinding when he left the haunted house. Seeing Chin Gu, the crowd's gazes all turned toward him. This was the first person who had entered a haunted house but managed to scare all the ghosts out. They were all visitors but Chin Gu had managed to do something they could not. Chapter 200, Come to my haunted house next time Chin Gu did not have the time to dawdle. He had just received the call from Captain Yen, and the news about the third sick hall had unsettled him. Boss. He San and Gao Ru Shui squeezed through the crowd to run toward Chin Gu. What did you do to the haunted house's workers? I'm just a visitor, what can I do to them? Chin Gu raised his brow. Also why aren't you at least a little bit worried about my safety? He and Gao Ru Shui were baffled. Indeed, under normal circumstances, when a visitor was left alone inside the haunted house, they should have been worried for the visitor. However, for some reason, when the two of them saw Chen Gu walk into the haunted house, they became worried for the workers instead. Of course, we were worried about you. He San flashed his signature smile, not at all awkward at his lie. Fine, remember to come to visit my haunted house when you have time. I've created new scenarios, and I'm sure it'll be very exciting. Chin Gu hurried to leave. He reached into his shirt to remove the electrocardiograph monitor and the audio recorder. He turned to face the proprietor. My heart rate hasn't gone over 100, right? 
Right, the lowest was 60, and highest was just over 90. Just over 90? Why was it so high? Chen Gu was a little surprised. He did not feel anything inside Tian Ting Medical School. It had felt as relaxing as returning home, but his heart rate had still jumped quite high. Looking at the dissatisfaction on Chen Ji's face, the proprietor felt like crying as the despair in his heart started to overflow. Brother, this is my first day of business. Your haunted house is not bad to be able to raise my heart rate so high. However, compared to the new Century Park's House of Horrors, which you can reach by taking the number 13 bus, it's still quite lacking, Chen Gu said openly. Actually, your haunted house is good enough that you don't need to rely on underhanded tactics like slamming our Jiujiang's local haunted house to bring up yourself and adopt real news to increase popularity. Chen Gu looked at the few haunted house actors who had not recovered from the trauma, and his brain started to turn. Your set design is very professional, and the story background is very interesting. You even have two storylines in place to include puzzle solving into your scare. To be honest, I had fun today. Fun? You had fun inside the haunted house? The proprietor and group of actors were praised by Chen Gu, but they did not feel too happy. The reality is, we lost. We will edit the unfair comment that we've leveled at your haunted house online. Thank you. If you come across similar trouble, feel free to come find me. I'm very impressed by your professionalism. The pregnant ghost's expression and the dead body's gaze had both been practiced before the mirror many times before they got the expression down. Tian Ting Medical School's actors had been in this business for many years, and they were Tian Ting Medical School's biggest wealth. That's all I want to say. Get back to work and remember to come pay me a visit when you're free. Chin Ji's gaze scanned the proprietor and the actors, and he smiled before turning to leave. Chen Gu did not gloat when he won, nor did he say anything sarcastic. Also, he had been left inside the haunted house alone while all the workers were outside, this could be considered an accident already. If this was a personal visit, then perhaps it could be swept under the mattress, but this was in public. If Chen Gu insisted on making this big, then it would be over for Tian Ting Medical School. However, Chen Gu did not do that. In fact, he had praised the haunted house, and this surprised the proprietor. He felt thankful. The guy is not as bad as I thought. Perhaps like us, he is not in it for the money but the meaning of true terror. The proprietor watched Chen Gu walk away and was reminded of his younger self who adored ghost movies and pranks. The bad economy for the past few years has caused me to focus on earning money, and I've forgotten the initial reason I opened a haunted house. The proprietor was too kind. Chen Gu did not treat them as competition from the beginning. The reason he said so much was because he was laying the foundation to swallow Tian Ting Medical School whole in the future to add to his terror-themed amusement park. Boss. The security guard tapped the proprietor on his shoulder. I'm fine, let's be ready to get back to work. Erm. The security lowered his voice. He seems to have taken our haunted house's tape recorder with him. What? When did that happen? When Chen Gu left the building and got on the bus, he realized that he was still carrying the tape recorder. I was too focused on making the speech that I didn't realize I was still holding their tape recorder. Oh well, I'll return this when they come over to visit my haunted house. Chen Gu returned to New Century Park. The moment he removed the sign from the door, the visitors started to swarm toward him. In less than a few weeks, the reputation and visitor number of his haunted house had dramatically increased. We'll be open in the afternoon. Don't worry, we've designed a new scary scenario. Definitely we'll give you the scare of your life. Chen Gu called Su Wan before entering the haunted house. He thought back to the tricks that he experienced at Tian Ting Medical School and tried to apply them in his own haunted house. The update rate for my haunted house is very fast, and it is still growing. When the hidden missions for the third sick hall are completed, I'll need to rearrange the scary scenes to add some scary items and mix in the real ghosts with fake ghosts. That will be more interesting. Visiting Tian Ting Medical School had given him plenty of inspiration. He wrote all his thought down in a notebook so that he would not forget them. 
At noon, Chen Gu took out the information provided by the police and memorized the information of all the escaped patients. The information could prove useful at any moment. After a simple lunch, the doors to his haunted house was open for business. Before completing the hidden missions, Chen Gu did not plan to open the third sick hall for the public. That was not such a big problem because most of the visitors had not digested the earlier scenarios yet. He kept himself busy until 6 p.m. After sending the visitors away, Uncle Su, who stood at the door selling tickets, flashed him a rare smile. Chin Ji's haunted house was driving the popularity of the entire theme park upwards, and the management was trying their best to cooperate with the haunted house. Nice work today. Chin Gu waited until Uncle Su and Su Wan left before he returned to the staff break room. He put the tape and the cleaver wrapped in red cloth inside his backpack and started to search for the white cat. He looked through the entire haunted house and finally found the white cat on top of the tree at the entrance of the haunted house. The white cat was very clever. It seemed to sense that a bad thing was about to happen, and it jumped up to the top of the tree. No matter how hard Chen Gu tried to persuade it, it refused to come down. What are you so afraid of? The place I'm going is safer than the third sick hall. Come down.